Last week, we decided to do a disruption inside a restaurant who announced that they were going to ban all vegans from their venue. We use this as an opportunity to bring to light the animal holocaust and the atrocities that non-human animals are subjected to, not only in the meat industry, but the dairy and egg industries and other animal industries that are abusing and murdering non-human animals. It was a rather chaotic disruption and many activists were assaulted, but we brought to light the animal holocaust and we decided to return to this restaurant tonight We've just come back and it was probably just as chaotic. If not worse. Yes. Um, so last week there were a few activists that decided to go inside the restaurant and do a disruption. But this time we wanted to stand there on the outside um, in, with the aim to be essentially completely silent and just blast the screams of pigs as they're suffocating in carbon dioxide gas chambers before they're brutally murdered and have a knife to their throat. Um, and we also held a TV screen playing the footage inside piggeries, slaughterhouses, um, dairy farms, etc. So, yeah, we rocked up and we were just standing on the outside and within a minute or so, the chef who announced the ban on all vegans came out of the door, um, obviously looking quite angry. Um, mm. He was already very angry. Last week when we protested there, um, last week he'd grabbed me by the neck. He grabbed you straight yep. away last yep. week. I was the first the person collar. he grabbed to throw out of the store essentially and he had many words to say to me many little threats yeah. um and one thing that came to mind that he said was uh you'll see what happens or something like that along the lines of threatening threatening yeah. me and it kind of looks like he was trying to take you out of the restaurant to separate you from the people on the inside to try and you know throw a punch at you as he's making these threats but little did he realize there was a whole group of activists on the outside so i feel like that kind of disrupted his plans to do that obviously we don't know for sure but the way he was handling you and the way he continually was coming for you last week and this week as well for simply trying to film animal rights yeah. activists be a voice for non-human animals who are subjected to the largest holocaust in history so um, yeah, so obviously he approached both of us. We didn't have as many people with us this week, but there were still about several activists. But um, of course he came straight for us. And he said, haven't you learnt your lesson yet? Um, and then he said, this is my property. Um, and then he literally launched himself at you, Yeah, right? so he kind of was bluffing. He was looking in the other direction as I was filming his face and at this point he literally just launched himself at me went to grab me this happened very quickly um however when it happened it felt like it went for a little bit longer um he got a hand on me grabbed me but quickly another activist stepped in between us and was able well, to push him back yeah our security yeah man. we're really grateful our vegan for having... security man yeah, did an amazing grateful. job um so at that point he got in between uh, and I think I got some distance, continued to film. He went to walk back towards his restaurant. I continued to film him. And I think he maybe turned at me again to kind of just trying to act staunch, trying to... I think he actually went like this. He said, come on to me, something yeah, like that. So come on, big he's, boy. He's trying to start a fight with you. Yeah, he, he um, really has it in for me. There was many occasions now where he's tried to chase me out. And as you may have seen in the first protest, after... So the first encounter I had with, with him was him removing me from the store. Uh, and then after that, he decided to chase me out onto the road. And then he had to be pulled away by one of his staff members. Um, so tonight, the first thing that happened was, yes, he went to grab me. We had an act activist get in between. Mm. Then he went back into his restaurant, to which you continued to play the screams and speak out now. Uh, and then yeah, I think happened? I said one sentence saying these are the pigs who are being brutally murdered and then I obviously just let the screams continue. So, again, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't even say anything that much apart yeah. from that one sentence. So then we were just standing there silently letting the screams just blast. Oh, that's when I came up the, the I used the megaphone 
like with the audio player to like really fucking blast the screams of these animals like fighting till their last breath in absolute terror um so they're very haunting screams and obviously everyone in the restaurant including him could hear them they were fucking loud and so they should be everyone should listen to the victims fighting for their lives as they devour in their bodies it's absolutely sick and so he's obviously come out very very fucking enraged like even more enraged than before he almost like he triggered. burst open the door you'll see it in the footage he like yeah. bursts out the door comes right for tash and at this point he knew he wanted to get that megaphone off you yeah and... yeah so he was triggered by the sounds he feels guilty and so he fucking should be feeling fucking guilty for not only contributing to this holocaust but profiting from it and advertising and glamorizing it like the way he holds a dead pig in his arms for a photo opportunity and cradling and making an absolute mockery of their murder is just disgusting. So this man's feeling so guilty, he's willing to commit an act of assault. And So yeah. describe what happened. Yeah, so he went straight for initially just trying to grab the megaphone from me and just kind of like hurled me from side to side. Obviously... <laughs> When you've just suddenly been attacked, it's hard to really describe anything else that happened, but I just remember being fully cradled and holding on for dear life to this megaphone that he was trying to grab from my hands. And um, time slows down at this moment. Even I felt like I had to step in. Yeah. Even though I didn't, I was on the verge. Normally, I wouldn't. Normally, I want to try and capture no. this all and well, allow never. other people to step in and... It felt like it was happening for much longer than it actually did. And thankfully, the same activist that got in between myself and him at the beginning uh, got in, uh, was able to actually grab uh, John from behind and get him off Tash and actually take him towards his restaurant near the window. That's when other um, patrons of the restaurant came out um, and were then trying to get this activist that was defending us off John. And he said, I will let go of him so long as he stops because our activist was just acting as a security. And at this point, you will see in the footage, uh, John is now even more enraged being <laughs> removed and manhandled uh, for our own security. And then he raises a fist at the activist and then soon after that he again I think charges for me again because I'm nearby with the camera um, so he was very enraged um, I don't think there's ever been a moment where you felt like you needed to step in right ever before no so yeah obviously our agreement is let me be attacked I don't give a shit I can handle it but um, if it's going to a level that's obviously going to cause severe harm to me then our agreement is, well, if you're able to come in and help me, then do it. And the fact that you actually felt like you almost needed to step in goes to show, um, yeah, how fucked up it was. And, um, yeah, it just resulted in my skin being split open, my wrist fucking killing me, and, yeah, it was just completely uncalled for violent behaviour. And that's what you expect from someone who's not only an animal abuser and murderer, but someone who makes a living off abuse and murder and glamorizes animal abuse and murder. But that wasn't it. Um, we then continued the protest after we went into the restaurant. And this was literally just playing the screams of pigs and showing the footage outside. Um, which then it felt like maybe 10 minutes later that the police arrived or even less and they have came over and what were they saying to you um that he was going yeah he was saying the officer was saying to me that he was going to arrest me for being disorderly um so then i obviously questioned him saying what do you mean like i'm just standing here and he said the the sounds you're playing is disorderly conduct um so then i said well how am I insulting, offensive or threatening in my language and or conduct right now? Because that's what disorderly is in the legislation. He couldn't answer that and just continually said, I'm being disorderly because I'm blasting the screams of animals or playing a loud noise, maybe, he said. 
So then I questioned him saying, so if I were out here playing loud music, that's enough to be a criminal offence of disorderly conduct, is it? And he said yes, which I find to be absolute bullshit. Um, and yeah, then I guess I feel like he had like these preconceptions of me being this, like the media narrative of me being violent, even loud, crazy, a pest. So I think he was expecting me to be that way. So that's why he was really kind of on guard about like, oh, I'm going to arrest you kind of thing because she's the crazy vegan. That's just an absolute pest. Um, with all He already knows that I've obviously been charged and arrested in the past for disorderly conduct. So that was kind of the first thing for him to kind of put his guard up and take me on with. Um, and obviously I know the legislation pretty well. Um, and asked under section 74A, what am I committing, what act am I committing here? And then he said, no, not trespass. Um, but section 74A is disorderly conduct. It's got nothing to do with trespass. So obviously I know the legislation a bit better than him, but then he settled down when he realized that I'm just, you know, I'm just me. I'm not going to be screaming in your face. I'm not this crazy person. And then thankfully he took the assault pretty seriously and said, all right, I'll take a statement from you then if that's what you wish to do. So. And it was during this moment that John Mountain came out of the restaurant again. Oh, yes, of course. Whilst the police are there, there would have been at least four police officers around us. And then he charged me once again. And another activist had to get a sign in between him and myself. Uh, then I think the police stepped over and tried to, you know, um, stop him, maybe pull him aside, I'm not quite sure. But to have the audacity to actually go to, again, probably assault me in front of the police officers is crazy. It really just shows how he's shooting himself in the foot here. Um, but it really exposed him tonight. Uh, if it didn't expose him enough last week, he's definitely exposed himself tonight. Yeah, so he, not only did he try and commit assault in front of the police, but he actually committed an act of theft in front oh, of yeah, the police. Oh, yeah, he stole a sign and crushed it and, up. Yeah, and, you know, people think, oh, well, it's just a sign. Obviously, the police didn't it's take it too seriously, but it's our fucking property. You it's know, bizarre. whether he's grabbing a mobile phone out of someone's hand, which is what he did last week as well. He and grabbed, threw it on the floor. Yeah, he grabbed it out of her hand, sma like, smashed it down to the floor. And she was an activist that hadn't even gone in the restaurant. She was just trying to film and expose him manhandling you. And, yeah, he's just continually done it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be taking this very seriously. I've just put in a statement to the police station now. So we'll absolutely be doing this because, you know, we are defending animals. We are speaking up on their behalf because they can't speak up for themselves and we have every right to do so, and they have no right to be abusing and murdering animals and attacking those people who are trying to defend and stop animal abuse and murder. So it's not going to stop our fight, hence why we went back again tonight, because there's just no stopping until we can stop this animal holocaust and see animal liberation. So make sure you watch Dominion on YouTube to see the truth.